Today I'm going to show you how to fix the indexing problem on a lead load master and that's coming up next year on Jesse B Outdoors. Welcome back everybody. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below and I'll answer it the best I can. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to fix the indexing problem on your lead load master. What I'm going to show you is what it's doing and how to fix it. And I know there's other ways about it now after I figured out how to do it, but I'm going to show you the way I figured it out. Let's get started. Right now I'm going to show you that it's not indexing at all. It's not moving. You can see this rod right here. That's the indexing rod right there. It is not moving at all. What it's supposed to do is it's supposed to ride down this track right here and then up over this bump. And it's not doing that at all. It's not even budget. So that's a huge issue we have here. And originally I thought I broke this. So I ordered another indexing rod, which is okay to have a spare, but I figured out how to fix it. One thing I'm going to show you real quick is what I noticed. So let's go ahead and change the camera around. So what I notice here is there's a line right here on this block. And what this does is this helps the mechanism move to put your casings in to take them out of the tube feed. And you can see right here how this will come across there right here. It comes right across there and it would rub right across making that line right there. So what that tells me is, is this platform has moved. Now I'm going to show you how to fix it. Now you're looking directly underneath the ram and you can see right here, there's a 7 16 nut. What we're going to do is, is we're going to loosen this nut up here, get this loose. And that's going to help us up on top. Now this right here runs all the way up through the ram and then I'll show you where it is on top. Now that bolt goes all the way through and here's your lock nut right here. It'll lock your shell plate on. That bolt goes all the way through the tube up to this. And that's what we're loosening up. And then I'm gonna show you how to adjust it. So what we're gonna do to fix this is move the ram halfway up and you got a little ledge right here that the indexing rod rides on. We're gonna go ahead and pull that out here. And then what I'm gonna do is grab this right on the end and then there's a little ear on the back and I'm going to move it towards me. You can see here how it has movement. That's what the issue was, is the platform got shifted over. So we're going to move it down there. I'm going to hold it there. Now you can see that this is going to ride on the indexing spot. So what you got to do is keep messing with it until you get it going smoothly. Okay, right there. I got it running smoothly. You can watch and you can see right there that this is indexing now with no issues. So now we just come down here, snug up our bolt real quick. Don't need it super tight. And there you go. Now the indexing is fixed on your Lee Load Master. No parts to buy, just a simple how to to show you how to do it. Nice and easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to fix the indexing on your Lee Loadmaster here. Like I said, I bought this used if you guys are watching the video for the first time. So I didn't get no instructions on it. And I'm the type of person I like tinkering. Yes, I know there's other videos on it, probably on YouTube. And I think I also saw after I figured it out that it's in the instruction manual. So if you got the instruction manual for your Loadmaster, this is in there to show you how to do it. But like I said, I'm a tinkerer. I bought this used. I had no instructions. I saw that mark on that block and figured it out from there. And it was a nice, simple, easy fix. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below, and I'll answer it the best I can. Don't forget, we are one nation under God. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.